From north to south, the long coastline of Japan cultivates diverse local lifestyles reflecting their unique geographic conditions. People live in harmony with the sea by combining their traditional wisdom with scientific knowledge. We call these coastal areas, where the sea and human beings are intimately connected, satomi. Osamu Matsuda, Professor Emeritus at Hiroshima University and one of the leading experts in Satomi, explains the term. ま、そのを取り戻していこうというような。ま、昔の豊かな海がイメージにありますが、それをま、新しい形で作り直していこうというのは、ま、大体そういうイメージでいいかと思います。The Nanao Bay, Higura Island, Hinase Town, Ago Bay, Shiraho Community. The conservation activities in these six locations hold the keys to understanding Satomi. We welcome our guide, Professor Matsuda, as we set out on our journey from the north to the south of Japan, visiting the Satomi of these six coastal regions. Shiretoko Peninsula in Hokkaido is one of the three natural world heritage sites of Japan. The heritage area is from the center of Shiretoko Peninsula, extending up to the tip of the Cape and its surrounding waters. The name Shiretoko is originally from the Ainu word Shirietofu, which means land's end. Raosu lies on the east side of Shiretoko Peninsula and faces the Nemuro Strait. With its history of abundant marine resources, it has prospered as a fishing town. When the ice drifts reach the shores of Raosu, this has traditionally been the season for walleye pollock. In the 1980s and 90s, Walleye Pollock accounted for more than half of the fish caught in Hokkaido, peaking in 1989 at 110,000 tons. However, the Walleye Pollock catch rapidly decreased. In 2010, the total catch of Walleye Pollock barely reached 10,000 tons, less than one-tenth of the historical peak. Mr. Kawakami, chairman of the gill netting committee during the historical peak, recalls those days and how abundant their catches were. そうそう、夜中まで朝から始まって終わって帰ってきて風呂入るしまもなかったんだからな。会社までだもう2時間ぐらい寝ては。あの頃でも何時、5時頃しっこだからもうそれこそ夜中中やって3時頃帰ってき
のなればも産卵もそれからそういうのを残すのに、うん、切り上げそれこそ終了時期をどんどん早めだねあの頃は腹水子なるから、うん、そういうのが多く取れる場所を主にやっぱり金魚にした方がいいんじゃないかということでそして値段的にももう水子なれば価値も下がるししたらそれは、うん、のあそこは網ささない方がいいんじゃないかということで。部会で決めねスケソ部会っていうのはあるもんだからそういうところで決めてそしたらここを筋力にしこっちまでねそれは毎年実施しているはずだ To improve resource management there has also been an effort to reduce the number of fishing boats In 1988 there were 193 boats with walleye pollock fishing rights Now there are 83この量だら本当にまあ間はな漁師も食ってがいないからもうどんどんどんどんやっぱりやめる船がいると思うんだけどやっぱり寂しいよね本当に。The walleye pollock fishers began a cooperative system in which five boats form a group with one boat suspended from fishing at a time. This approach aims to manage natural resources in a sustainable way while also reducing operating costs. Even though the number of walleye pollock fishers has decreased, Junji Kawakami took over from his father to become the captain of the boat Ebisumaru. まあまあ、今日見た感じなら身はガラガラ何も魚なんてかかってないんだけどそ生料金の時だからもう網いっぱいもう魚がかかってきててね船いっぱいもう膝隠れる膝上ぐらいまで魚って感じでしたよね昔は俺が漁師やった何年目かな21年経つんだけど漁師やった12年はそういう感じだったんだけど徐々に徐々に減ってきましたよね流氷来ると魚も一緒に来るってよく言ってたんですけどね最近はもう流氷来たらもう泥しか網にかかってないし魚もいないですね将来的には厳しいと思うけどね厳しいんだろうけど取れてほしいですね魚をたくさんどうなっていくのかわかんないですけど昔みたいにやっぱりいっぱい魚取れるのだら嬉しいですよね。As the number of walleye pollock decreases, fishers are embracing different ways to manage resources in the hope of regaining the bountiful catches they once enjoyed. Despite the decline of walleye pollock, the sea around Daosu is still a bountiful fishing ground. The year-round catch includes not only walleye pollock, but also flounder, atka mackerel, salmon, and squid, proudly producing some of Hokkaido's largest hauls. The walleye pollock gill netters are not the only ones in Daosu working to protect resources from total depletion. Uni mo ne, moto wa ne, ano, ichinichi no toru suri mo namu kimatte nakatta nsu. Jibun de ute shidai de. 要は何もでも資源の豊富な頃はそれでよかったんですけど今これ何年かで結局昆布との兼ね合いがあって天然昆布あんまりこうウニを増やしちゃうと天然昆布が食われ食べ過ぎちゃうのでその辺の兼ね合いがあって今ちょっと資源的に少ないんですはっきり言って元よりはね。一、うん、日の取る数量を今50キロかもしれないに決めて、まあ、745世紀創業して当たってますけど。そうやって決めて損用してます。もう損用時間時間も決めてますけどね。金量は7月1日から8、9月いっぱいですね。金量。7月からやっぱり産卵時期なんですよ。ウニもやはり。と産卵時期のものを取っちゃうと結局はね、子孫を残すウニを取ってしまうことになるんで、次の世代のウニがなくなると結局はそれを取り上げちゃうことでやっぱり資源なくなっちゃう。In addition to local and national government regulations, 
fishery businesses in each region have established strict protocols that determine the fishing season, fishing and harvesting times, fishing grounds, as well as the types and size of fish and shellfish that are allowed to be harvested. In Laosu, many people make their living from the sea. Some have quit fishing but maintain their connection with the sea. Building on their marine knowledge, many have taken on jobs related to ecotourism. Masato Hasegawa, captain of the tourist boat Evergreen, is one such person. He was born into a family of walleye pollock fishers and kelp harvesters. このいや、わし動きくて。先に落ちるわしやけんね。僕らこの観光業やってますけどね。漁業がダメになったらこれもダメだと思ってる。ここのラウスに漁民がいなくなったら俺たちの観光ももう終わりだ。結局あの鯨とかシャチ来るでしょ。食物連鎖のつながりだ